inviting me to get my first dose of the vaccine. Congratulations. I presume you acted on it. Yeah, sure did. Took about three or four clicks, I think, and I'm booked in for later this afternoon. So it was easy. I did that. Then I had a big cry. <laughs> well, I was so worried when I spoke to you first thing this morning. You were so upset. But now I know that they're tears of joy. It's all over. Yeah, I mean, I might go again just to warn you, but uh, this this feeling of relief and, and possibly a release of pent up emotions from the last year. I don't know what it was, but it happened. Let's just say that. And by genuine coincidence, this is what we're talking about this week. The Royal United Services Institute says that cyber scams reached epidemic levels during the pandemic. Dan Simmons has been finding out more. But that might be different for you where you are. So our general advice is Check it sends you to an official website that you recognise and that nothing is misspelt. If you're asked for your bank details or any other information, get suspicious. Just to note that by clicking on the text, you're not automatically going to be handing over your bank details. It just means that you are likely to be asked for them soon. And if you are suspicious, you can contact the organisation which sent you the message independently. And if you're in the UK, you can forward any text messages to 7726. That spells the word spam, so the police can investigate and reply to you as to whether it's genuine or not. That's it from us for now. As ever, you can keep up with the team on social media. Find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at BBC Click. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.